Here we go, look. Who's that in there? <laughs> oh, off you go then. Right, hello, this is John Neal. And um, I've had a, an email from Wes. And Wes wants to know how he can get his pens to work better. Both the nibs and the ink flow. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, well, one of the things is that the uh, nibs that I use, I always use this square ended one, not one cut at an angle. When you get the smaller ones in particular, when you first buy them, they have this angled nib, which I never use and I don't know why they make them. So one thing to do is to pull that nib out, turn it round, and then you have a very acceptable nib to use. Um, right. Um, as for the flow, this is a, he had a, a PM770, I've never heard of that. Um, this, as you can see, is a 120 pen, which is the bigger size. The really thick ones, the wide ones, about this wide, um, they they do dribble and Kuritaki know that they dribble. Um, so there's uh, not a huge amount you can do other than to push the ink out, milk it out, just depress the top onto a surface like a uh, saucer of some sort. Give it a little squeeze and put a little pool of ink onto a saucer and then use a brush. Now I've talked about these before. A lot of the work I do nowadays I'm doing repetitive writing along a uh, number of words. He's using the brush. Now this brush, as you can see, is quite uh, square. It's not angled in any way, but it's definitely thick that way and thin that. And this is one made by Rosemary and Co. Very good brushes. This is a Shiraz Long. It's a number four. It's a Shiraz Long flat, and it's got a short handle, not a long handle. So if you go to their website, you'll find some excellent brushes there. And those are the ones I use. So Wes, if that is good uh, information for you, if that's helpful, um, I'm pleased to see if that is. Oh, by the way, um, if you want to go to my website, jaronimages.co.uk, I have some more videos that you can buy, they're downloadable. Only ten dollars a piece. There you are. Okay, I hope that's been of use, and uh, I'll see you again some sometime soon. Bye.